Hello everyone. As the title states, today I am driving a Chevrolet Camaro Hybrid. Naturally, this is no ordinary Camaro, but instead it's a part of General Motors EcoCar 3 competition. 16 college teams from across the country were challenged to take a standard Camaro and turn it into a hybrid sports car. Over the course of four years, these teams conceptualized various hybrid powertrains, did marketing research to see what consumers wanted from a possible hybrid Camaro, garnered sponsorships, and then made the cars a reality. From there, the cars were put to the test on performance, reliability, fit and finish, and cost to see who did the best job. Now, I'm going to drive Virginia Tech's car around Hollywood and see what the Camaro SS of the future could be like. So I'm going to talk to the camera. I promise no crash problem. or anything. We're <laughs> you're in good hands, most likely. Right. Do you know the route? No. All right, cool. Hello, everyone. We are in something very unusual and very exciting at the same time. This is a Chevrolet Camaro, and it has a V8 under the hood, which is what everyone wants, but it also has hybrid electric power to go along with it. And that's a very exciting proposition for sports car enthusiasts, and oh my god, push the brakes pretty hard to get it to stop. Yeah. <laughs> So this is all a part of GM's EcoCar 3 Challenge where they've challenged all these college teams across the country to take a Camaro and make it a hybrid powertrain of some sort. There are all sorts of different engine configurations here, but I think, I'm gonna get really close to the camera so I don't offend anyone, I think this is my personal favorite because they kept, they put a V8 in this one. It's a 5.3 truck motor, all aluminum L83, and obviously they stacked it with a hybrid battery pack, and so this in theory is the next generation super next generation camaro ss that we should all be shooting for here with hybrid electric power and sweet v8 soundtrack so let's go for a drive and see what it's actually like do you want it in tour or sport uh let's try both so we have it in tour let's yeah put unfortunately it down. only the down button works got it <laughs> all right so as you heard this hybridized camaro ss of sorts has two modes available, tour and sport. And this fine young engineer beside me has told me that touring is more of the eco-focused driving mode while sport is more of the sporty driving mode. Go figure. So we have it in sport right now because we're in a Camaro, we're gonna do sporty things. So we are driving through downtown LA, which is not a sporty place <laughs> at all. That's okay. We're shooting a feel for what this car is all about. Oh, I have a quick question. Yeah. So if you put it in neutral, can I just like free rear like, oh, yeah. like a normal car? Yeah. Sorry, I need to let the let the audience hear. Yeah, that's that's that, that's a five three truck motor, all right. Oh, that's great. And that's why this is the one I wanted to get into most because it has the V eight. So this really is sort of like a spiritual Camaro SS of the next generation. So hopefully, well, traffic's not gonna clear, but hopefully we can at least get a green light and go to our next next destination <laughs> and enjoy that a little bit more. That is so bizarre. Okay, so I'm not sure if the camera is picking that up, but there is a definitive whir from the electric powertrain, but at the same time, you have the burble, the V8 from the exhaust. It's such a bizarre mixture of sensations. And it's funny, you don't think of a V8 as needing torque fill like you would a smaller engine, but you can actually feel it even at this really low speed. As soon as you get off the brake, it kind of just goes in a way that feels like more than just a V8 with a torque converter. Right? Like you can really feel the hybrid electric powertrain filling in torque where you didn't even think a V8 needed it in the first place. So the biggest place it's actually going to fill is on upshifts when you're in the pedal. Um, uh, my research has been on basically trying to get the trans to shift faster and not actually cut out on output torque during a shift. So. So the, the, the electric powertrain is supplying power as the transmission is shifting effectively? Yeah. yeah, so it'll bump up motor torque during a shift to maintain the same acceleration through the shift. Got it. That's so interesting. And, uh, you know, it needs a little calibration work, but uh, I have a whole nother month to finish all that outside of competition. All right, we're hitting the open road, or is it as open as this place can be? And for the most part, this feels pretty normal. There's a few little funks and clunks. That's kind of normal when you're have you have like what 400 pounds of battery in the trunk, effectively. Yeah, about. <laughs> and this is one of those cases where the check engine light being on concerns absolutely no one. It's just part of the course when you 
swap out a V6 Camaro, put in a 5.3 truck motor, and then stack in over 100 kilowatts of battery juice. That's that's gonna happen. But I'm actually surprised. Just bumping around town, this just feels like a car. Yeah. The fun one's the stability track light because we took we did the autocross and we set the fastest time, and now the stability track won't engage. So good. You don't want that on. That's, nah. That just slows you down. So do we need to get over here on the? No, you side? actually want to stay, stay in this, this lane. lane. Yeah. Okay. And then, so Hollywood's the next light, and light after that is Hawthorne. Got it. We'll have some space to actually rev it out. You can use the paddle shifters if you want. They are functional. Okay. Um, it's usually pretty good about uh, knowing what gear to be in. It has a custom shift map on the transmission controller, um, and then a lot of custom control over what the engine is going to do during that plus the shift fill stuff so got it all that kind of works together to try and get a Camaro transmission and a truck engine to actually work well together it's really interesting feeling feeling that you're sitting in the future but at the same time you're not because it's a regular car it's a very <laughs> odd but very cool sensation calibration feels pretty much like a normal Camaro, at least to me. It doesn't feel notably off the pace of an OE level effort. Yeah, so it's right here. Right here. second gear at 2,000 RPM. <laughs> it picks up like a regular Camaro SS, which is pretty <laughs> awesome. It's amazing to see uh, you put a bunch of determined students, you give them a bit of backing from GM and a bunch of other great sponsors, and you just look at what these kids are doing, and it's really impressive. <laughs> This just feels like a regular Camaro SS, but you know that it's way more fuel efficient, has torque everywhere, but it still sounds badass. You're not, there's no penalty for picking the hybrid green sustainable solution, and that really is the future. Man, the whining, the whine sound is so cool. Yeah. It, it's like a very Tron-esque, you're like, oh man, I'm, I'm in the future. Yeah, this is this is rad. And so, did you drive this cross country basically to get here? No, nah, they had to ship them, but okay. we did. Uh, yeah, yesterday or day before. Uh, so now you guys put miles on them. You guys are driving around for this challenge. So. Yeah, yeah. So we did um, we did about three thousand miles back at school this year. Okay. Um, and then uh, we did a hundred and fifty mile road trip on public roads uh, two days ago around Pomona. endurance stuff at GM's Proving Grounds to okay. prove to them that we weren't going to break down on the over the road event. No, that's great. Yeah, I feel like it doesn't sound quite as like shocking, but the overall impression is this really does just feel like an OEM effort. Like you almost, if you disregard the whining, it could be like almost like straight cut gears. It, it literally just feels like a regular Camaro that <laughs> sounds really badass and gets great fuel economy. It doesn't get great fuel economy doing this. Doing but. this, but <laughs> you can, and that's what's important. Well, I appreciate you letting me have a ride here. Um, yeah, no problem. This thing is, excuse my language, rad. This is, <laughs> it, it's, it really is the future. I mean, it, there's no penalty for having a green sustainable vehicle, but mostly green sustainable. You still get a badass V8 rumble and you still drive the cool Camaro and you have a fun daily driver. What more can you ask for?